to build towards Tokyo next Absolutely. summer. Absolutely. Absolutely. One of the things that has grown since uh, since the start of 3x3 is the prize money involved. Is the paycheck is $15,000 U.S. dollars for the winner of this event. And, yeah, there's second place and third place prize money. But I know one thing. Team Edmonton right now, I was thinking yeah. about one thing and one thing only. And that is no beside. We have a strong, as you always do, no matter what, no matter what you have. Whenever you go and watch any Serbian team play on Big they always have a strong following. So here we go with Team Edmonton coming on the floor against Team Serbia. Definitely a partisan crowd in favor of Team Edmonton. But right away, here, here's something, Doug, that I think is critical in this game, is Team Edmonton cannot let Novi Sad get off to a strong start. And here's my expectation. Novi Sad is going to try to take away any rhythm that Team Edmonton will try to get. Uh, they're going to be very physical early. That's one thing I noticed with them. They're the most physical team out of the gate. Yeah. So going to be really into this. Is going to be real interesting to see which team starts. So on the court for Novi Sad to start with, we have number 81, Tomas Ivosev, uh, Dusan Bullet, and then the maestro, Dijon Mastrovich. He'll be out there. And then for Team Edmonton, they bring Jordan Baker off the bench with Steve Sir, Kyle Landry, and Jordan Jensen White. We have an epic matchup right now. Now, I'll, I, I tell you, you know, like it's, I uh, <laughs> just look around and go, this is, y you know, you hope and pray one day you're going to have stuff like this in your city. <laughs> and it's here and it's now, and this is what we're doing. Confident shot by Jordan Jensen White, get the basket. Novi saw with the rebound. Landry with Bullet. Bullet good off the dribble. Takes it strong to the hoop, one nothing. Novi Sad, Landry clearing. That's one thing about, you can't, that's the, that's the start that Edmonton has to be careful about, is, and that's the stuff that you have to even be more careful about. The Maestro following Steve Sir, two nothing. Novi Sad. You, one thing you don't want to give Novi Sad are easy buckets early and the easy momentum building buckets early. Well, and you see Novi Sad's ability to create space for themselves either individually off the dribble or with that brilliant pass we saw seconds ago. So a team that has that bounce that you talked about earlier. Jordan Baker. Edmonton struggling early against Novi Sad's ball movement. Uh, they have not found uh, they have not found their rhythm. They have not had a good shot yet. They're not passing the ball well, uh, and uh, definitely the experience of Novi Sad of being in pressure situations. Jordan Baker. Making it happen, 3-2, bringing it back. Bullet coming right back, coming off a slip screen. Yeah, Jordan Baker on the jam on a nice pass from Sir. We've got ourselves a ball game, 5-3, Novi Sad over Edmondson. Bullet again, very under control. You can see why he's been player of the year. Steve Sir on a nice jump hook in the lane, 6-4. We got a ball game here, folks. Well, the pace has picked up. I mean, we're 6-4. We're barely a minute and a half into the into the game, and you can see that pace and, and good. I mean, like you said, Paul, not a good start for Edmonton, but a nice push back to not let Novi Sad really start to blow this thing open early. That's uh, disturbing when he hits twos. You don't want that. 8-4. Novi Sad, uh, lots of scoring early. Edmonton's going to have to start making some defensive stands and getting some stops. So far, Novi Sad's been able to impose its will on offense here. Kyle Landry thus far has not been a factor. Jordan Baker has been playing very well thus far, but two shot clock violation. And again, Defensively, the, the very poor transition uh, defense by Edmonton. Another strategic foul on the inside, 9 for Novi Sad. But here's the thing, Doug. 
people can say, oh, no, Edmonton. Well, you know what? There's a lot of time left. And oh, I've seen, sure. you know, and you've got to hope that the OB side is going to hit a lull and you're going to be able to take advantage of it. That's just the case. And now we should have one. Yes. I thought we were going to get the end one on that. It looked awfully yeah, close. Yeah, I thought I, he was into the, oh, yeah. into his. But we're not biased. We're I not. mean, we're not at all. That was but completely objective on our part. That, that should have been I'll an end one. I'll put away this the green and gold. Well, I can't. Hat on my right here, too. <laughs> Doing but. my best. Doing my best. Jordan Baker on another two, unfortunately, doesn't find rim. We have nine to four, seven to seven. I think right now Edmonton's a little hurried in how they're playing. They're, they're, they're a little rattled right now by Novi Sad. Novi Sad is having its way. Bullet is being able to find openings very easily and unfortunately has been able to score at will. 10-4, good timeout called by Team Edmonton. Right now, I believe this will probably be the television timeout. But right now, you just have not seen Edmonton being able to make a stand. Actually, it wasn't a timeout. It's just uh, getting the ball and looking. Yeah, and right nope. now, everything for Edmonton is a struggle. And even, even that initial entry pass has been difficult for Edmonton here so far. Getting beat literally on everything. Literally on everything so far. Team Edmonton has got to find some rhythm. That helps. But it's got to be more than that. It's going to have to be on the stops. Bet Baker on the follow, but no support from Baker or from Jensen White. Jensen, so far, uh, here's my observation so far. Team Edmonton is uh, obviously rattled early. Hopefully they can gather at this time out. And I'm going to refer to another game, which was a couple of years ago in Saskatoon. Nobsad was playing Team Saskatoon at that time. Uh, team Ed, or Team Saskatoon rather was up early. There was a rain delay. Novi Sad regathered, similar lead to this, and uh, and ended up winning the basketball game. This can change. All it takes is two stops to start shifting yep. gradually the momentum. But thus far, the movement of Novi Sad has been really troublesome for Edmonton, and they have not come up with any solutions. At and that. and their aggressiveness defensively, they've been in the in the face of Team Edmonton every single time they have Absolutely. the ball. Absolutely. Very nice play. There we go. Landry on the dunk on a great feed. This looks like a more energized team Edmonton. They definitely, now the inside. Now they called an intentional on him. I, I would like to see it again, but I, you know, definitely there was a lot of context that they unfortunately call intentional on Steve Sir as he was uh, defending on the interior against Thomas Ivasev. So Ivasev will get. Uh, We'll get two free throws, I believe, but no possession on this. Go back to the last possession by Edmonton. To me, that's the definition of that balance of assertive yes. patience. Good initial execution by Steve Sir on the quick look, and then the, the tip pass inside to the cutting Landry for the score. And that's where Edmonton's going to have to do be right on that line of pushing the pace, but not to the point that I think we saw the last couple minutes where Novi saw it really took advantage of that because Edmonton at both ends could not handle that pace. Exactly. So you start on a back cut. Easy bucket on the way in. So 13-8, five-point cut. The key is rebounding. And Landry did a bit. By Land, you can see it in Landry. Sir with an open shot. Follow up 13-9. Edmonton is energized. We got ourselves a ball game. It's awfully tough on that mismatch on the inside. That's not the switch you want. No, and you just can't come and help. You you, you have to leave that alone. Jordan Baker on a nice fading shot, but he's got to recover quickly. Again, I'm a little surprised at that. That seems like a little premature, but then again, Anybody is listening, we're so done. I am just fighting to stay neutral. <laughs> Something even close to neutral but right in fairness, here. I'll jump in. In fairness, I mean, certainly we saw much more physical play not called in the earlier quarterfinals than we saw on that close Egg. by Kyle Landry. So exactly. bias or not, to me, that was a bit of a quick call. But Very nice take by Jordan Jensen. White, 14 to 11. So far, but the long rebound, the maestro back with the ball, looking again. 
Nothing there. Blandry controlling the rebound. Out to Baker. 14-11, 5-17 to go. Jensen White on a strong take. Got foul. That's where Jordan Jensen White has really become more assertive is when he turns the corner, going strong, taking it off the bounce, going, seeing an attack lane, and going hard to the hole. Well, a nice job by Evans in the space the floor to open that lane for Jensen White. And a nice slip and pass. But a great recovery and block. A great recovery and block by, uh, by Tomas Ivasev on that. Uh, Jordan had made a wonderful cut. But so now we've got Edmonton with six team fouls, Novi Sad with five. So we've got to be, they've got to beware. Bullet on the shot, on the miss. Offensive foul, I think, going against Steve Sir. As he got tangled up, I think it was with Bullet. I was looking over here on the near side. Yeah, I didn't see it. I um, seven team foul, offensive foul. Next foul, does Novi Sad will be in the bonus. Yes. A lot of comments uh, from the crowd who are not familiar with how Novi Sad plays, about how physical they were, and how they use elbows like that. And so, um, Jordan Baker on the slip. Jensen White. Baker going strong to the hole. And that's a good matchup, I think, for. Oh, that's a, this is not good. That's not what you want. You cannot give that up because. Uh, Jensen White almost. Now we got the battle on the inside between the two strong fellas in the low block. Jordan Baker has the look. 16-12, 4-11 to go. A lot of time left. Kyle Landry back in. Jensen White on the bench. Next shot, we will have uh, uh, Novi Sad in the bonus. So far, the maestro has not had anything fall. What a much better job there by Edmonton of tying up Ivasev so that he couldn't slip. That's where he was looking to go. Exactly. But Baker slides over, makes sure he bumps that, does not allow Ivasev to go, and Novi Sad is forced to settle for a long two. Baker with the ball. Long two. Steve Sir running it down. One second to go, ball did not hit the rim. You have to hit the rim to get a new 12 second clock. So now we have a TV timeout. Edmonton will have a chance to talk about this shot. Most likely it's just gonna be a catch and chuck. But 16-12, Doug, uh, Novi uh they've t so far taken advantage of the opportunities, but to their credit, they have created their opportunities through their movement. They move so well, and you combine that with the, with the physical play that you've talked about, because they create space for themselves, and their ability to 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 work through the contact to get to the rim to slip through. I, I mean, that combination is pretty deadly. Too bad it was uh, actually a good shot attempt on that time. Almost drew iron. Baker was there, but it didn't draw iron, so it now goes over to Novi Sad. So we have the matchups out here now. Bullet being guarded by Baker. Baker over the top, the maestro working without the ball. There was an. Go to work, Landry. <laughs> He's got to go to work. Kyle has to hit a shot. This will be. Uh, I think that'll be foul number seven, so I believe Sir will go to the line for two here. That's a really good battle by Steve Sir. He knew he had no chance at the basketball, but just fight his way to the rim, yep. forcing Bullet to grab him and earns himself a trip to the line. That's a good heady play. Good heady play, good effort play, and that's really what it's going to take for Edmonton to get back in this. It's, it's their effort and their ability to stop. And it's going to be 
They're going to say Steve Sir had stepped on the, the white line. On the line. And he did. So, unfortunately, that was the case. Sir hits the second of two. Good help by Kyle Landry. That was a great defensive rotation. What they had done earlier in the series uh, for Team Edmonton was they, they, their defensive rotations were really sharp and crisp. Now, in fairness, they weren't playing Novisad, and that's the thing with Novisad. It's easy to say you just have to rotate, but Novisad's movements are so sophisticated. They're so good. Great contest. A great piece by Jordan Jensen White on Desan Bullet. Great take. Yes, good finish by Baker. A lot of contact on the finish as well. Good. Jordan Jensen White is playing some inspired basketball right now. Jordan Baker on the two. 17 14, 238 to go. Here's what I here's what I think. Lots can change really quickly and I think Edmonton's taking its time out right now Doug lots can change really quickly to me this next play is critical uh, absolutely the most critical because this is one of those game changers if Novi Sad gets a one and God forbid from Edmonton standpoint a two <laughs> yeah. but if they get a two here then they're just playing to win they got the free throws to their advantage so to me this is everything right now if Edmonton's able to make a stop they have an opportunity to close the gap even more, and they're in the game both me physically and mentally. So to me, this is the play of the game thus far. Yeah, I completely agree, and we'll see what Novi side looks to set up. Better, better a two than a one, but it's the kind of night. And that's, they're gonna say it's orange ball. That's the right call. Team Edmonton doesn't like it, but Jensen White put his hand in afterwards and the ball was knocked out of bounds so they don't like the call but it's the right call it is what i said about the last possession now applies to this possession good call by the official catching on the hook on the screen and roll uh one of the things you have to be almost a nuclear physicist to figure out who's grabbing who <laughs> in these situations because it, it's just amazing how subtle it is Jordan Baker taking it to the hoop, 18-15. Jordan Jensen White, Jordan Baker, Kyle Landry on the court for Team Edmonton, 2 10 to go, 18-15. There we go. Turnover. Blue ball. Big time. Sir back into the lineup. I'm sure Edmonton is going to be looking now. A, a two-point shot would be huge. They need to score, though, to stay in the game. Running their actions. Landry on the nice finish on the inside. They're within two, 18-16. 1.56 go. One nice finish. Kyle Landry on the feed. Dusan Bullet went down on that play. Steve had a good look. Kyle yeah. Landry on the finish pulls Edmonton within two. Novi Sad with the two could win. Novi Sad, if they get fouled, could win. So all of the marbles on the line. 1917 Edmonton. A bounds. Team Edmonton. Bit of a break for Team Edmonton. I thought Jordan Baker had a chance just to collect that basketball himself, chose to let it go, and almost cost them. Yep. Team Edmonton down by two with the ball, 135 to go. Steve Sir, the long two. Kyle Landry battling for the rebound. Nineteen seventeen, one twenty-seven to go. Again, everything on the line. Can't foul, can't give up a two. Yeah. 
So tough for Landry. He's in a no-win situation. 2018. They can't be serious. <laughs> they call that a jump ball. <laughs> Steve Sir with a great strip. Great strip. The uh, disputes the call. Uh, it's always one of those things where they're going for the ball. What's where's the physical contact in that? Unfortunately, on the jump ball for Edmonton. No besides basketball. 2018. 103 left to go. I don't know how that's a tie-up and not a travel. He rolled from well inside the lane with the ball, but that was a rugby move. Yeah, I was going to say that was rugby. That was rugby, and so a tough game. I mean, Team Edmonton is playing like its life depends on, and it does. Jordan Jensen White, very strong move to the hoop. We got 21-19 or 29-2019. One point game, 44 seconds to go. Don't, Steve's. Jordan Ball. What a battle. What a battle. Foul's going to go on Jordan Baker, so Novi saw a chance to end it. You know, this is tough. This is tough to watch. Uh, Novi Sod's played great. It's been a fantastic ball game. If you, ca you cannot under, uh, un un you, you can't overstate the fight and battle in Team Edmonton to battle back into the game. Really comes down to Doug uh, as uh, an excellent free throw shooter steps to the line for two. But you really, you, you can't underestimate that start that we talked yeah. about that was so critical when Novi Saad got out to such a big league, Edmonton has...